All right, guys, I believe I have found the absolute best way to add stickers and decals to any model using Cinema 4D and Redshift. Now, if you're familiar with Redshift at all, you know um, how complicated they have made it to add stickers um, to, you know, custom objects, CAD files that you did not create um, in the program. So this is a very good workaround that uh, a lot of you guys should be able to use for your own renders. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so I have my uh, Redshift viewer open here. How we're going to start is we're going to put a sticker on this model first, right about here. So how we're going to start that is we're going to create a plane. I'm going to rotate it uh, 90 degrees. Actually, it's kind of messed up right now. Um, bring it up, and you're going to try and make this plane about the size of the sticker probably a little bit bigger because you have room to move around the sticker on the plane which is what you want uh, so we're gonna hold it up right about here to say we want the sticker right here on the product so how we're gonna do this is we're gonna go into the plane uh, first I'm probably gonna make the width and height segments to around 30 that's a pretty safe number you can raise it if you have more detail on your model um, but we're going to click the plane hit shift C and type in collision there it is right there collision the collision type comes up uh, drag the collision into the plane click on collision and under colliders here you're going to hit this little pen tool and since I want to put the sticker decal on this cylinder I'm going to click it make sure both of these don't look like this but they're clicked on sometimes it spawns in wrong um, and that's it so all we're gonna do actually before we even wrap it around uh, I have a sticker that I made here and it's pretty simple uh, just a my stickers piped into the diffuse color and then into the opacity map here so when we throw it on that's incorrect okay so I'm gonna go into the tag make it cubic uh, and I'm going to turn at 90 degrees just a little bit of adjustment here and this is why we made it larger because you see we have room to move um, the sticker around so that's kind of where I want it right there um, now since we have the collision set up with the proper collision tags underneath we can select the plane and under object mode here drag it around our object you can see the ends kind of get wrapped up and that's fixable um, and I'll show you how to fix that on the other model but that for this purpose looks good you can make the decal as large as we need to as long as it's bound to the plane um, so we'll make it 30 by 30 and see if that works and boom, we have a sticker attached to the plane like so that works perfectly well. Let's go ahead and add it kind of to this curve right here. Now we're going to create the plane again and go through the exact same process. So I'm going to speed this up real quick. Okay, so I have my sticker set out here. Um, I didn't make it cubic, it's just UV tagged, so when I make it bigger or larger, it just doesn't matter. It's just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Um, so I'm going to hit Shift C on my new plane again, type in collision, add the collision to the plane. Um, under colliders, change the object that you wanna stick it to. Make sure everything's checked correctly. And now all we should have to do is move the plane. Um, no, that doesn't work. So what went wrong is we have to take the collision and this solver is set to intersect. We need to set it to inside. And I actually played around with this before the tutorial, so I knew what I was doing. And um, I thought it would be outside, but that's not right. You should just play around with the settings and see what works best for you. So now we're gonna try this again. And it works, perfect. So. Um, we can see that this isn't quite right, so we need to do a small bit of adjustment to make it right. So under collision here, we're going to go to advanced. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and make it five steps. We're gonna move the stretch to zero, and boom, it sticks to the, it, there's no upward spiral anymore and it sticks to the object like so. Now you can see that it is a tiny bit off and also um, it's kind of low poly. So we need to add more segments to this. I'm just gonna go 25 for this one. And I hope it doesn't disappear, let's see. There we go. Now it looks much more cleaned up. Um, yeah, so all we would have to do here is to make it a little more flush is to click on the plane and the collision and I'm gonna go connect object and delete and this should now you can't edit this anymore but you can move it straight to this and make it completely Let's play around until it's completely flush right on and now you have a sticker that is completely flush against your box and you shouldn't have any problems with this in product render or animation or anything like that so yeah that should be a much easier way to make stickers in uh, redshift instead of making it material blenders and having to tediously move it around the object and uv map everything um, this is a much better way of doing it in my opinion and i hope it works well for your project so thanks for watching